In a lot of models, particularly multimedia kits like this one we're building, you invariably come across photo etch. If you've seen our previous films, we reviewed a photo etch bending tool by RP Tools. The same company has released a new range of tools in the Piranha series. These represent an improvement in their previous design and promise sharper components and more refined tools. We'll show you how to use these tools, but essentially they are indispensable for bending tiny photo etch parts and we'll be using them on our Cromwell's photo etch pieces. These Piranha series tools are stocked by Hysterex agents and they've been sent to us by them. And you can see how they're constructed. They're very heavy and chunky. They feel extremely well made and expensively produced. These are marketed as premium versions of their photo etch bending tool range. And they're constructed of steel. They're marketed as some of the sharpest tools you can get. And they all work the same way. Construction is similar. They all have these plastic knurled dials. Four on the longer one, three on the middle one and two on the other one. Underneath you see there's felt for stability and they all come with a razor blade. Here we can see the 13 and a half centimeter Piranha photo etch bending tool, the 19 centimeter version, and the much bigger 30 centimeter tool. This one is more geared towards maybe ship modelers who tend to have large photo etch pieces that they need to bend, such as handrails. This is the 19 centimeter version, which is well suited to all kinds of modelers. This is probably going to be the most commonly used size, 13 and a half centimeters. How do you use them? Well, we're going to take one of the tools, show it in action and have a look. And we'll use it for the parts on our Cromwell. You identify the parts in your kit, identify them on the fret, and then you can remove them. We're just using a rounded sharp blade. We rock it over the stubs and the part comes away. We're just sanding down the little stubs of photo etch using a needle file. Here are all the tiny parts that we've removed from the fret and trying to bend these parts along the designated bending lines freehand using pliers and so on might not necessarily give you a great result. You take the tool and make sure it's flat and you can see there's three knurled dials here. All the tools have these knurled dials and that's used to clamp any parts underneath. Here we've got a little box that we need to bend along the designated bending lines. The idea is you clamp it securely and that way the part isn't going to go anywhere. You should always bend with the recessed lines on the inside. With the piece firmly held, you take the razor blade and bend. This gives you a nice clean bend. You can then unclamp and continue to manipulate the part. You just work your way around the part. All the tools have a long straight edge as well as the little recessed alcoves and that enables you to bend any of the smaller side pieces. Then it's just a case of gluing it all together. For the remaining smaller parts, we'll switch to the 13.5 centimeter tool. We're gonna bend these smaller pieces. And you can see how a tool like this just makes light work of that job. Here are all those little photo etch pieces bent and in place. Before we go, we just wanted to show you this. This is the conical roller tool from RP Tools. Very useful for bending cylindrical parts or even cone shaped parts of photo etch. It's very simple to use. You've got different diameters of rolling surface. So you simply bend them into shape using this. If you're making these sort of mixed media kits or if you're buying photo etch regularly, you can't do without a tool 
like this to bend all those pieces. Don't forget you can get them from Hysterex Agents, and they're available today. Thanks for watching, and bye.